So it's uh, really nice to uh, interact with Dr. Uh, uh, Vignesh Kumar. And, yes, uh, and I heard uh, uh, Dr. Vignesh Kumar did uh, 2020 rank number two in uh, yes. pulmonology. pulmonary yes. medicine. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. So I bring all wishes from all the speed faculties, from the institute, from all the students to you. And uh, congratulations on your wonderful performance and achievement uh, that you have made. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And uh, this wishes goes to you and to your entire family members, to all your family members. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I like to uh, know, <clears throat> I'm going to take an interview today with you, and I'm going to uh, uh, ask you uh, your journey in medicine. Where you started your uh, medicine, where you did your post-graduation. Uh, can you tell about yourself? Sure, sir. So I'm uh, Dr. Vignesh. I'm uh, from uh, southern part of Tamil Nadu near uh, Sivagasi, sir. That is my hometown. Sivagasi? Even my name is Yes, sir. I know, sir. <laughs> you know? Yes, sir. Wow. Great. Yes. And then uh, I did my uh, MBBS from uh, Chirinad uh, Hospitals and Research Institute. I belong to batch 2007. Okay. Uh, then after that, in uh, 2014, I joined my diploma in tuberculosis and chest diseases in uh, Madras Medical College. And then I, I joined my MD in uh, Vallabhai Patel Chest in Delhi uh, in 2018, and I completed in 2020s. I was a post diploma candidate in Vallabhai Patel Chest in Delhi. Okay, so post diploma MD two years, am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. So. And then in uh, July. Uh, uh, September 2028, mm -hmm. I gave my exams. Neat, super special. So, uh, you are already into the specialty. You mean uh, it is yes. that you are completing your journey? Am I right? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Where, where did you do your schooling in Sivakasi? In uh, Lions Meditation, Sivakasi Lions Meditation. Okay, excellent. So, it's something great to see. Uh, <laughs> a doctor from the same place, and uh, I did my uh, schooling in uh, Oya TV. Uh, so it is a parallel school to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's uh, really, really great. And uh, now, uh, rank number two in BM pulmonology, uh, where are you going to take? I mean, it's your option now, it's not something else, it's you're going to choose where you want. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, CMC the loops. Uh, any specific reasons for that? Sir, I have been uh, outside my uh, outside Tamil Nadu for two years. Okay. And, uh, I want to come back and and they need to look after my family also. I have a kid also. And his okay. schooling is also. I have to start his schooling. He has uh, approached that age so for yeah. that reasons, for personal reasons. <laughs> and it's a premier institute as well. There's no doubt yes, about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, but I mean, the convenience of place and also, I mean, you're choosing a premier uh, institute. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, for, uh, I mean, what does what that I mean? Definitely, when you are doing a diploma, then we are moving on to diploma in chest medicine and moving on to MD in chest medicine. And then definitely, uh, you will have in your back of your mind to complete this process. That means yes. to complete this DM uh, pulmonology, that means, uh, I mean, um, education wise, that part is complete. So, I mean, uh, having traveled through that, I mean, always people who come on that specialty itself from initial diploma to post-graduation and end to end, I mean, that gives a completion. There is no second thought process about it. But you are all doing continuously. I mean, from, uh, from day one, uh, you are into this process continuously and you are perfectly executed. That's what I could, I mean, uh, that's why just why I want to listen to that. So how it all went and how all these dots are connected, how, how, how all this connected. Now, how uh, it could come to a final shape. So, everyone does that in mind and then they execute. Then you have done a yeah. perfect execution on this. Correct? So, I could really sense it. I could really see it. And uh, I mean, I could. Now, uh, it's happening in reality. Yeah. So, uh, you have achieved what you intend to achieve. And uh, you have joined first year of DM uh, pulmonology. Then, end of DM pulmonology that your career is set and you go on. So, uh, it's something which is very great. Now, I just want to ask you, how was your preparation? What did you prepare? Uh, I mean, because you did your chest medicine for four years. Uh, 
in that area i mean how you could recap again to come back and to do this can you share some of your experience when you started how you started and how do you did so this could help those people who are aspiring for d and pulmonary medicine next year this interview could help them uh, yes, of sir. your experience so uh, the exam was uh, nearly two months after my md exams my md exams were over by uh, july 20 july 2020 and uh, in another one or two months was the uh, need to do special exam september 15 so i combined the preparation of both the uh, uh, md as well as uh, for super specialty sir so uh, i started perfectly my preparation for my exams in uh, november 2019 okay uh, from that that time onwards i started my preparation actually because of covid times the exams got got postponed and postponed twice and then the final exam was in july 2020 it was supposed to happen by april or april so i utilized this uh, covid times also so i was able to revise and re-revise the topics again and again so that was the main uh my aim for dm pulmonology was uh, during my uh, diploma times itself so from that time itself i started uh, searching for the institutes which uh, which institute is good which institute will help me going into uh, dm if i do my md there like that so in that process i uh, chose vallabhai patel chest institute which is one of the pioneer institutes in uh, in india for chest medicine so uh, that uh, doing doing my md that also helped me uh, getting the okay uh, how, how did you uh, learn uh, general medicine I mean how were you i mean how did you when did you join speed I mean uh, how was your preparation uh, through this app was Uh, making a benefit out of this did it really make a benefit or uh, what happened how you entered uh, this process first of all the i made clear with the uh, pattern of the uh, pattern of the paper it has two parts and uh, second part is uh, pure and purely it is going to be pulmonary medicine part b part a has uh, uh, three feeder specialties for it is uh, general medicine pediatrics as well as uh, pulmonary medicine again so the main junk of my uh, exam nearly 70% of my questions are going to be from pulmonary medicine which i made sure and uh, the remaining only 30% is from general medicine so i made my pulmonary medicine part uh, uh, thorough and then uh, which i made during my mp preparation so and then again i revised during the next uh, one or two months also but during that one or two months i made uh, i started reading uh, general medicine part i concentrated more on general medicine part at least in the very important core topics i actually joined speed uh, uh, application i subscribed to speed very late in in my preparation process only uh, nearly uh, one month prior to the exam actually i had a uh, means i was not clear what to prepare for general medicine because it is a huge subject and uh, uh, as far as i inquired with my seniors also they also were not clear what to read for general medicine so uh, to make a path i subscribed the uh, app i worked out the question um, sphere which were really helpful both from pulmonary medicine as well as general medicine point of view it uh, focused me towards the uh, all important uh, topics and areas hmm. and uh, mainly the app questions were very good in that uh, it made me the questions were taken very deep inside the text hmm. uh, for pulmonary medicine we read we read a uh, fishman in fishman though we read during the exam times for a theory but for a mcq point of view this uh, the questions from speed app were uh, very good the uh, the questions were so uh, minute and very uh, in depth so that i was able to uh, if i get the question wrong during that uh, during the mcq i used to read that whole topic okay if, if for example if i read about alpha and antitrypsin and if a question is a question i made wrong in alpha and antitrypsin i used to read the whole of alpha and antitrypsin from that uh, topic from the textbook 
so that made me uh, again and again reinforcing the topic and that only helped me. so in that point of view speed up was uh, very good one from the mcq point of view since i subscribed from the last uh, few uh, few days i was not able to uh, view the video lecture but uh, the uh, this thing was very good mcq were very good so now uh, now you are now into the third season of your uh, chest medicine <laughs> from yes. diploma to md to dm uh, have got a real kind of a strong theory background and uh, into this now you will be an expert in uh, the entire area definitely we want to have you as a faculty in speed for the upcoming year and whenever uh, you have scheduled and you have settled then definitely uh, you can uh, take up the position of a faculty and to teach sure, and to frame mcqs and contribute to more the coming sure, sure, sure. students and now, i always have a, a plan of uh, teaching pulmonary medicine actually from the interest point of view or i i also know have a thought of uh, making mcq books because there is no uh, good mcq books from for pulmonary medicine there are books for uh, cardiology endocrinology etc but there is no uh, particular uh, mcq book or no but no particular uh, um, coaching institute that also trains in pulmonary medicine but so you can contribute a lot and uh, that can be taken to the students who are aspiring for pulmonary medicine and you will be uh, in your specialty not only learning and not teaching so and once again i convey uh, my best regards to you and to you and to your family all the Thanks. best all the success and uh, to be a great uh, in your career of uh, pulmonology and to be in the topmost uh, in your career in the country not only in the country globally i wish you every aspect of your life to be very happy upcoming and promising and to be delivering to uh, your patients and uh, and you take care of them very nicely and also you deliver what you tend to deliver what the passion you have definitely all have come true and it is just the question of uh, time of three more years uh, that is going to be in more reality and uh, with you and uh, with all of us we'll all keep in touch and be uh, together as a great team and to contribute in academically to uh, the rest of the students in upcoming years once again thank i wish you sir. all the best thank and all the thank success. you sir thank you sir. and thank thanks you. for being with us today thank you sir thank you all sir. the best yeah, thank you